hello welcome back to my kitchen if this is your first time here you're welcome my name is MC and today I'll show you how to make semo and also how to make this delicious Ogbono soup so if you're interested keep watching don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you haven't To make the soup, I'll start by blending pepper, onions and adding water to make the blending easy. I'm just going to use this to season the meat I'll use for this recipe. I'm using goat meat for this recipe so I'll add some salt, yes you guys I'm back to goat meat. I'll add some beef seasoning, this is going to make it so delicious. I'm also going to add the blended pepper and onion. If you want your beef to be really flavorful, you can cook it in its own juice before you add water. But because of the type of pot I'm using, I'm just going to skip that step. It is still going to be flavorful and delicious. I'm going to use pomo for this recipe. I will not be boiling it in the same pot with the beef because I always like to wash it again after boiling it. I don't like the smell of pomo, so that's what I'm going to do. Sometimes I like my ogbono plain, easy peasy, but on some other times I add vegetables. For this particular ogbono soup, we're using two vegetables. We're using ugu and we're using uziza. And that's because they bring two distinct flavors to this dish that you want to make sure you try out. These vegetables have already been washed, so all I need to do is to chop them up. Sometimes if you can't find uziza vegetable, you can use uziza seeds. I do that sometimes but I've run out of the seeds and they give just about the same flavor. The fish I'll be using for this recipe is smoked mackerel and that's because smoked mackerel has this distinct flavor and deliciousness it brings to the soup. You can use other kind of fishes like dried catfish, stockfish. Personally, I don't like stockfish. That's why when I cook, you guys will notice I don't use a lot of stockfish. <laughs> I'm more of a smoked bala fish kind of person. So. I'm going to use this for the soup. I like to blend my own ogbono just because it just gives me this level of confidence. I hate the anxiety that I have anytime I buy already pre-ground ogbono because I'm like, will he draw? Will he not draw? <laughs> so let's eliminate that by blending our own ogbono. Ogbono soup loves, loves, loves crayfish. If you are not using crayfish in your Ogbono soup, I don't think you are doing it right. <laughs> to make the Ogbono easy to grind, I'm just going to add some crayfish in it and then we'll blend. So what I like to do is to take out the goat meat once it's cooked and then transfer it to the oven. I don't want to fry it so I want it to be grilled. I like grilled meat in my soup. If you guys have been watching for a while, you'll notice I prefer to grill before I transfer to the soup. It just adds a depth of flavor and I really don't like soft meat like just seeing really really soft meat like this. I call it naked meat. <laughs> I don't like seeing naked meat in my soup. I have about three methods of making ogbono soup and I'm sure everybody has so many different ways of making ogbono soup. I'm sure the way you make it or the way your mom makes it is different from mine. So I have a very easy recipe, I'll put the link in the description box. I'm just going to show you this other method that I use sometimes for my ogbono soup. In a hot pan, I'll just add some palm oil. Then I'll add the ogbono and then mix together so that it just melts. The oil is not bleached, it's not boiling hot, so it's just hot enough for the ogbono to melt. Once the ogbono has melted, I add some of the meat stock. 
and if the meat stock is not enough you can also add some more water so i'm going to add water to mine as well I'll just allow it cook till it begins to thicken. You can determine how thick you like your ogbono. Some people like it really thick, but I just like it moderately thick. So you can add some more water. And then once it bubbles over like this, I start to add my meat. If I want to cook really sharp, sharp ogbono soup, you know that ogbono soup when everybody is hungry and you have to make something, I use smoked chicken and it works both ways because the smoked chicken is perfect for ogbono soup. I feel like ogbono soup likes smoked things. So if you have smoked chicken, smoked fish, put everything in there. At this point, I decided it was too thick for me, so I added some more water. To season, I'm going to add some Cameroon pepper. I love the heat it gives this soup. I'm also going to add some salt and then some beef seasoning. I'll stir the soup together and then I'll allow it boil to about 20 minutes. Ogbono soup needs to boil so that you can taste it. That's why Ogbono tastes better like the next day, the second day after. That's after you warmed and warmed it. So you need to allow it cook for a bit. I'm adding the smoked mackerel now. I didn't add it at the beginning so that it doesn't get lost in the soup. And then now I'm adding my vegetables. So I'm using ugu and I'm using uziza and I've mixed everything together. I love my ogbono mixed with okra. That's my default ogbono mode. How do you guys like your ogbono? Do you like it plain with vegetables or do you like it with okra? Just let me know in the comment section. While the ogbono is getting cooked, we're going to get on to the semo part of this recipe. I got a lot of requests to show how I make semo. I'm going to add water to a pan and then immediately I'll add the semo vita. I'm just going to mix it in gradually just so that it doesn't have any lumps. So this is my lump free method for making semo vita. You require a lot of patience to make it like this. <laughs> This is also the method I use for making pap. So I just keep stirring till it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And once it gets very thick, I'm just going to, you know, the way you make a bag. As you can see, I don't need to talk too much. You can see what I'm doing. So I'm just going to keep mixing, keep stirring, keep stirring till I feel it is ready to be properly cooked. Or till I feel like the texture is right. Once I've done that, I'm going to add a bit of water and then cover it, allow it to cook for about five minutes. So now I'm going to mix it in properly, just combine it very well. The thing about semo is if you make it very hard, by the time it cools a bit, it's going to be too hard for you. So you need it to be a bit softer than it should be so that by the time it's cold, it forms perfectly. Do you guys like semo? Let me know in the comment section. Are you a semo person or are you not? Because I asked on Twitter and the responses were hilarious. It was just so funny. I love semo and my kids love semo but let me tell you something my best soup with semo is this ogbono soup once I put it in my daughter's mouth it just goes like there's a vacuum in her mouth sucking it in <laughs> it's always so funny to see but anyways this is what our semo and ogbono looks like I hope you love this recipe I hope you give it a try if you do tag me on Instagram Facebook Twitter any social media I'll love to see it Leave me a comment, like this video, and if you're not subscribed, why not? Subscribe! I'll see you in my next video. Bye!